Hey, this is Brandon with Node, and I'm going to show you how to do a Server 2011 SBS. That's that's SBS 2011, Small Business Server from Microsoft. And I'm going to go through a complete install of this thing and kind of show you how to do this. So when it boots up off your media, click New Installation first. And this this process is going to allow us to choose our hard disk. So in this case, I've got one 161 gigabyte hard disk that I want to go ahead and install this to. So as soon as I click that, setup is going to go through and verify a few things, and make sure that it can start up and, and uh, check me out here. So it verified it. Now it's actually doing the entire installation. And this process is going to take a little bit of time and uh, we're going to speed time up real quickly here. Okay, so after it completes all the setup steps, then it's going to boot up and it's going to actually say, setup is preparing your computer for first use. And this is going to just sit here for quite some time. As soon as that completes, you're going to actually see it go into the regular Windows like Server 2008 screen. And from here, uh, it's going to prepare the desktop. So, in just a moment, it's going to allow us to put in a whole bunch of additional options. Okay, and here we go. Please wait while the installation continues. And we're just going to sit here and wait. seems like all these processes just take forever sometimes so this installation takes quite a bit of time um, usually when you're setting up a server like this you're gonna want to allocate several hours like typically two full days of work can really you know to really go through and get everything set up if you've got multiple users especially if you're working with an older system that you need to bring over and, and migrate. So in this case, this is just a fresh system. This assumes there's, you know, this is a brand new location. There's nothing old to bring it in and um, we're not doing a migration. So once this process completes, then we will get to the, the next stage. Okay, so after some time, you'll get to the window where you can choose to say next. And uh, now it's going to ask to verify the date and time, which this is accurate. Well, actually it's not because the wrong time zone selected. So let me just change my time zone. There we go. Okay, next. And it wants me to agree to some terms of service. Except next. And now it wants my product key. After you enter the product key, then you'll get to the screen where you can enter a company name. In this case, I'm going to enter Node LLC. Whoops and just make this yeah node llc dot local ah well i'm just going to say node llc in this case well, i'm going to call this node sbs 2011 essential yes because this is a 2011 Essentials installation. Now the difference between 2011 Essentials and the other editions you can look up on Microsoft's website. I believe it would be www.microsoft.com slash probably SBS or small business server slash small business. Okay, administrator account name. Uh, I'm gonna make this just Admin, hope maybe it'll let me do that, and then I'm going to give it a password. Ah, 
wants to have an additional account for non like this is a standard user account so I'm gonna say user And in this case, I'm just going to say use recommended settings. Now it's going to proceed to attempt to do an update. And this process is going to take just a little time. All right, so it's going to go ahead and restart the server now. So I'm not going to press any key here because I don't want it to boot from the DVD. I simply want it to just boot up to the environment which it's gone ahead and installed. Okay, caution, you are logged on to the server desktop. To, eventual, to avoid potential security risks, do not use your server as a general purpose workstation. You can use the server desktop to access the operating system tools for advanced tasks, but for general purpose server management, use the dashboard. Okay, so, and you know, that's just stating there that, hey, you shouldn't use this server as your desktop PC. And this is something that occasionally happens. I certainly don't recommend it. Um, typically the server is somewhere safe and well cooled, um, secure, and you're not using it except to remote into it to do some things. Okay, so now we're gonna say, uh, please wait while the installation continues. And this process is just going to grind along for a little bit here and now it wants to restart uh, the server I think again alright and it is uh, rebooting one more time Should be up in just a moment. Okay. Now it's going to continue on with the installation again. So it's doing some reboots and this process just takes quite some time. Uh, SPS is really, really a large install, and like I said, it's very time consuming, so um, it's just continuing to crank along. Okay, now it's going to go through and shut down and reboot again. It does a reboot, and then 
comes back up to apply computer settings again. Comes back up to the desktop. And now goes back to the continuing installation window. And now it says your server is now ready to use. And um, gives you some more information. So here we have it. We've now installed it and we've got a server 2011 SBS edition right here. Now my network uh, is actually not set up to get to the internet I don't think. Let's check that. Yeah, so this computer is not going to be able to get online quite yet, but as you can see I can launch the console here and um, we can manipulate all of the settings that relate to this particular install. So I'll be following up here with some additional videos to show you more about how to configure this stuff, but for now that is the details of how to go about installing and what to expect in the process of getting a small business server 2011 SBS Essentials Edition installation done. I'm Brandon Cross from Node. You can visit my website at www.nodetx.com.